Boom. Hello. Welcome to today's Q&A. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, it is the 25th of July already, and we are talking a little bit about driving positions here at Decker, but we're going to talk a lot more about our scorecard, some of our monthly bonuses. So we've got a scorecard and a safety bonus. Um, we, we have a number of bonuses throughout the year that you can obtain. But um, those are the ones that you're seeing every single month, along with the driver of the month bonus. And that's there's more to that bonus, the driver of the month, than just driver of the month. It's a stepping stone. But really, all of this, all of these are stepping stones in one way or another. So we're going to talk a little bit about that today. Okay, so let's dive into our scorecard. As always, I guess what I should have said is. As always, if you have any questions, please make sure that you put it in the chat so that I can answer them as they come in because this is a Q&A. It is an opportunity for you to ask your questions. Five Bed Trucker, hello, hello. Thanks for joining us. So like I said, you have questions, put it in the chat. Let's answer those. Otherwise, we will uh, we'll talk a little bit about this scorecard bonus and safety bonus and how you can get paid on it, how much you can expect to earn, and how often, right? I mean, it is monthly, but it pays out ev around the third pay period of every month, which is right about now. Normally, it pays out on a Monday, um, unless it's like a holiday, and then it then it's like Tuesday or, or whatever. But yeah, it's usually around Monday of the third pay period of every month. So that being said, we had quite a few drivers um, who earn that on a regular basis, and we, I'm just looking for the exact numbers right now so that I have those handy. Um, of our drivers, 422 drivers either earned the scorecard bonus or the safety or both. So that's over 63% of our, our company drivers, our company and owner operators, I should say. That's a little over um, the 63%, which is awesome, right? Not too shabby. Well, look, let's look at the numbers then, because those are, you know, knowing that there was over $72,000 paid out for the month just in bonuses um, across um, 422 drivers is, is pretty impressive. On average, this scorecard on the company side, our drivers earned right around $200, um, 193 to be more precise on the company side. Again, that's our scorecard side. Um, for the company drivers. The owner operators and lease purchase drivers, they were averaging about $240 or $240 for the month on the scorecard. Now the safety wise, a little over $91 was the average for our owner operators lease purchase and a little over $84 was the average for the safety bonus for the company side. So altogether, like I said, about $72,356. <laughs> was paid out in the monthly bonus for the month of June. So yes, I do realize it's July, but June, for all of the miles that were completed for June, that's where the scorecard, the safety bonus, um, and if you're a team, it's the mileage bonus. They're all calculated on the month previously so that they can be reflected and, and earned that way. Now, let's talk a little bit about... Um, We'll talk a little bit about the uh, criteria because there are a number of criteria for this. For well, let's talk about this, the scorecards more precisely. Safety is just 20 or below, but and we'll dive into that. But as the scorecard, we have a thousand points is the maximum that you can receive for the scorecard. And just like anything else, we you know, you've got that performance, you've got your base pay that you're seeing on a regular basis. Yes, we do have a minimum that you receive. So you've got that guaranteed minimum, which is, it's nice when it comes to, um, when it comes to like budgeting or calculating, you, you know you've got that peace of mind, that, that safety net that's set for you. Uh, in trucking, in for, I mean, I've been in trucking for 20 years and noticed that, you know, obviously it's a lot of mileage pay. And if weather or equipment or issues arise and you're not able to get those miles, then as a driver, I mean, it's out of your hands and you don't have that reassurance. 
Well, with Decker, we do have that reassurance. We do offer that because you've met the criteria, and we'll go over that criteria. Um, you meet the criteria, and you have that safety net, so you know that you're going to get paid at least $1,000 a week um, to, to run. So um, if some divisions pay a little bit more. Other divisions, depending on, depending on the division, you'll have a guaranteed pay no matter what. Um, a home time's gonna have a factor in that, running lane's gonna have a factor. But um, I'm bouncing around a little bit, so I'm gonna <laughs> stop with the guaranteed pay and come back to the scorecard. We'll address the guaranteed pay a little bit later on today, if you guys have more questions on that. But, um, so with the scorecard, the seven criteria, we have preventable accidents and we have CSA violations. If you received either one of those, within that month, then you forfeit the points for that. And like I said, you have a thousand point max. That's, that's the goal. We want those thousand points. And, um, and to be honest with you, you start with a thousand points. Okay, so you've got the thousand points. If you have a preventable accident, you drop 200 points. So you're, you're down to 800. Anything 825 or above gets you a bonus, either one cent, two cent, three cent, or four as a company driver. As a lease purchaser owner operator, it's one, two, or three cents more per mile. All right, so that's those are the bonuses. A thousand points is going to get you the full payout for based on all the miles that you ran for owner operators and lease purchase. Okay, thousand points. So you start at a thousand points, and you're working your way down to um, well, <laughs> let's not work our way down. But if you get a preventable accident, you you work down to 800. Um, if you had a CSA point, uh, CSA violation, you you drop 200 points, okay? So we want to stay at that 1,000 points. That's where I'm going with that. Um, CSA, preventable accidents, those are 200 points. Um, idle time, that's another 200 points. And actually, our idle time is on a graduated scale. So if you have um, less than 5% idle, that's ideal. And you'll you'll get to keep those full two that full two hundred percent. If you're between five and eight percent, you drop down fifty points for that. So you're down to nine fifty for your scorecard. And then at nine fifty, you'd actually be at two cents per mile, um, three cents per mile. Excuse me, three cents per mile at nine fifty instead of the four cents as a company driver. When it comes to owner operators and lease purchase, we don't take into account idle time. Or fuel compliance. Fuel compliance is worth 50 points total and again there's graduated scales on that one but it's a, it's 50 points for um, for the for the point for the value of that um, but again lease purchase owner operators idle time and fuel compliance don't don't affect you um, as far as the scorecard is concerned however that being said on a business side, it most definitely does. I mean, if, you, if you've got high idle or, um, you know, if your, your fuel compliance isn't great, you're not going to be saving as much usually. That's usually the case, at least. And that's why we get all of these savings. That's why we can pass them on to our company drivers and owner-operators is because of the savings that we have with the, um, reducing the idle time and, and making sure that we're, well, we're very compliant with our fuel. So... That being said, um, that those are two other factors on the company side. And miles, another one. Miles are worth 150 points. So even if you didn't get your miles, you could still get a, an extra penny per mile on all the miles that you completed for the month. So again, 150 points are what the miles are worth. And we all know that industry-wide, it's not uncommon to see miles down right now. Um, we do have a number of drivers who have received that perfect score, so they're you know they're still getting miles, so it's, it's still doable for sure. Um, but we're not we aren't seeing as many as we were on a regular basis before. So keep working hard. Um, and know that we are working to make sure that we're getting you guys the miles, um, and that we're working with our customers as well. Thankfully, we have a great customer base. We have strong on-time delivery, and actually, we were just given an award for the on-time delivery and and success of Decker as a whole, as a company. So uh, another huge accomplishment there by, by everybody, by the team. Um, for those who have had the perfect score, 
Robert Anderson, Tyler Ash, David Bodel, Andre Buckner, Curtis Carson Jr., Curtis Carson Sr., Larry Dew, Curtis Drake, Paul Duckworth, Christopher Eppins, Gary Garrison, Chad Hazelton, John Jablonc, Daniel Jimerson, Irvin Kilberg, Darren Ladley, Dustin Likens, Dominic McClure, Dennis McCubbin, Thomas Melton, Jeremy Moritz, uh, Kevin Mudd, uh, Greg Narciso, Tony Nelson, Eugene Pearson, John Roberts, Matthew Robinson, Diana Rosales, Rolando Rosales, Timothy Tyree, Guy Wise, John Woods, um, John Woods Jr., excuse me, Michael Wright, Demetrius Anthony, Michael Botello, Ronnie Burns, Jonathan, or Jonah Click, sorry, Jonah, Hamad Cooper, Reginald Dowdy, uh, Don Green, Damian Guthrie, Cody Hager, James Haynes, Brian Hembry, John Hodges, Tavares Ike, Todd Leavitt Jr., Brian uh, Mackest, uh, Charles McCord, Daniel Newby, um, Thomas Norris, Karen e. Purnell, Miguel uh, Pierre, Miguelito Pierre, excuse me, Devin Stokes, Sean Swallows, Michael Thompson, Alan Van Cleve, Hans Wacko. Um, all perfect scores for owner operator lease purchase company drivers that, yeah, those perfect scores meant they've they got the fuel compliance, the idle time, uh, miles, claims. They didn't have any claims. Claims is worth 100 points. Um, same is with the service failures, also worth 100 points. And um, no preventable accidents, no CSA points. That's Those were perfect scores, perfect 1,000 points. Absolutely love to see that. Um, so congratulations to each one of those scorecard earners. We had 255 scorecard earners. Um, 255, yes, and I read all those names yesterday. <laughs> Probably butchered some, but I do want you guys to know how that's over 33% of our company drivers and owner operators who received the bonus. And uh, yeah, it's brag worthy, so we do definitely want to recognize them. For our safety bonus, the max that we want, we don't want, ideally, we want to stay at zero. So zero is our ideal number for our safety, which is the exact opposite of how our scorecard works. So with having zero as your starting rate or your starting number as the lease purchase um, or owner operator, if you received any um, following too close or erratic lane changes or um, failure to stop or speeding, or there's a number of, of, of uh, triggers that will start adding up to points for uh, for the safety. Now, obviously, some of them, following too close being a big one, um, are worth a lot more than others. The, the minor ones, obviously, um, are going to be worth fewer points. Well, if you have a score of 20 or below, then you will get an extra penny per mile on all the miles that you completed. When we first started this program, which I think was in 2016, 20. Yeah, it's, it's been a while, um, it's been a few years. So when we first started this, we noticed a significant um, drop in, or I guess improvement, I should say, drop since our, our points were a lot higher. And we had great safety scores and, and everything, but then you see a, a drop in our numbers for safety. Um, instead of being at 300 for the month, uh, a driver ended up, you know, at 15 or 20 because they were able to learn from some of the habits that they had to improve them. So, yes, we'd love to see that drop. Um, it, absolutely fantastic. That was really within the first year and a half when we started to recognize, and I, I want to say it was 16, but I, I could be wrong. It could have been 18. Um, but it was fantastic to see the improvements and to really realize that they were even there because as like even in my own driving, I recognize, okay, I, I got to give more distance. Um, am I speeding up? You know, you, you are aware of those habits. You rec start to recognize them and, and keep, you know, just try to improve on them. Um, and so anybody with 20 points or below gets a, gets an extra penny per mile. And we have had a lot of perfect scores. We had 388 drivers who had a safety bonus. So that's 46%. And like I said, overall, we paid um, 
between the owner operators and lease purchase, we paid over twenty six thousand in just the safety bonus alone. So yeah, quite quite a bit. So huge congratulations to all of them. There were a lot of perfect scores on the safety. I'd be here quite some time if I I read all of those names for you. Um, Mike, how are you, Mike? Mike Skidmore is here. I'm having a very good summer. Thank you. Less smoke than in the past, although it's starting to fill the skies coming down from Canada, it looks like. Um, but that's always the bummer, you know, come summer. Um, ooh, that's, I hate to see that. He says, looks like 22,000 yellow workers might be looking for a job soon. Yeah, I was reading up on that as well. Actually listening up on that as well. Um, Dean is in Walcott, 85 and growing. <laughs> Yes, very, very warm. Um, 26,000, um, good question, Mike. That 26,000 was for the month alone, just on safety bonuses. So the, the amount that we paid out in uh, bonuses between the scorecard and the safety combined this month was over 72,000 um, for a company and owner operators. But that doesn't include um, any of the, like, that doesn't include our, our driver of the month bonuses or our uh, clean truck bonuses, our inspection bonuses. We have, if you get a clean DOT inspection, you get an extra 50 bucks. So those add up as well. Um, usually a few hundred a week, uh, around anywhere, I don't know, usually between four and, and 700 a week is what we're paying out on those. But yeah, Mike says he rode his uh, motorcycle to Ohio and PA and it was amazing to see all the smoke in the sky. So yeah, I bet that was tough. Um, how was the construction on your bike? Yeah, it was for a month. Yep. Yes, absolutely. 26000 in in bonus alone. In safety bonus alone. So, yeah, those bonus programs actually are stepping stones to the driver of the month. And the driver of the month, uh, not that you have to have a certain requirement necessarily, for uh, like what number you have to have, you just need to be one of the highest. And I can tell you in years past that you basically had to have a perfect score for the month in order to earn driver of the month. For the most part, you see those. And then you're voted on by all of the different departments throughout to determine who the driver of the year is or who the driver of the month is um, based off of those numbers, along with a few other things, you know, like. Um, going above and beyond, just just a number of items that, that may have been mentioned throughout operations as well, um, or safety. And um, speaking of safety, huge shout out to Tim Olden, who I should have probably... Tim, hello! Oh, great, now he's going to hear it. No. <laughs> um, a huge shout out to you, man. I heard that you were saving lives the other day, helping others out. I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, fires and, and tire damage and um, coming up on people who might need your help. It's always a relief to see that somebody is there to help another person out. And uh, Tim Tim was that person just the other day. So your, your driver manager, Lexa, was bragging about you, saying how proud she was to, to hear your story and, and share it. So um, Mike says too many construction zones on that trip. 2,200 miles, and I bet you did have a lot of construction. And there always is right there too, right? I mean, really, quite a bit. Um, but anyways, those are the, the safety score, your scorecard score. Those are stepping stones to the driver of the month. And you can only win driver of the month one time within the calendar year in order to qualify yourself for the driver of the year awards which is quite a to-do. And then when the Driver of the Year winners, they'll get a $3,000 um, pr bonus prize, whatever. So they'll get that along with a few other things. And then we also choose a grand champion from those winners. So at each level, there's, there's voting, there's tallying, you know, getting all these numbers up there. Um, quite a process. And then we have our grand champion who is awarded a 15 thousand dollar prize each year so that's that's been our uh, always a big event a lot of fun we recognize our million milers we recognize our our uh, highway heroes during that time um, 
oftentimes some of our retirees and and um, our DMs as well. So as our driver of the year awards. So a lot of fun. Um, anyways, those are all stepping stones. Our driver of the month, they'll get a hundred dollar pilot or they'll get a hundred dollar Walmart gift card plus a fifty dollar gift card to the Decker store, which has been keeping Steph and Katie quite busy, I believe. If you're looking for some Decker, Decker gear, Decker merch, Decker swag. I don't even remember what the right word is. My kids have to tell me all the time that I'm saying it wrong and that I'm too old. But anyways, if you're looking for any of that, then um, get a hold of Steph or Katie. Just call in. If you're coming into Fort Dodge, we've got a store here, a physical store here. You can get it online as well. Um, we also have one in Missoula. Get a hold of Jason for that. And then there's, and there are little, like there are different things in Missoula than there are in Fort Dodge. And then there's a few things in Bessemer too, I believe. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Flatbed Trucker says, the company I worked for gave a 389 Peterbilt for the driver of the year. That is cool. So we have, speaking of, um, most of our trucks are 579 Peterbilts. We have some 389 Peterbilts as well. I'll come back to that one. Um, we have some Freightliner Cascadia Evolutions. We have some Volvos, which are mostly for 740s for the flatbed, 760s and 860s for the reefer, for the most part. Now, with the 389s, it's pretty common for some of our veteran drivers to get 389s. So if you've been here 15 plus years, you get to spec your truck a little bit. And some of those are manuals. Um, and I don't know if there are as many are manuals as before, but a lot of our veteran truck veteran drivers would choose those trucks. And um, they're pretty sharp. We actually have a couple of videos on, on um, both our YouTube and our Facebook page if you guys want to check some of those out, but they're sharp, um, those 389s. And yeah, it's pretty common for one of our, our driver of the years to get into one of those because a lot of times they're veteran drivers. Uh, I remember back in, oh, I think his was a 579. I was going to say, Stephen got, when he won, he had our 2,500 um, Peterbilt that we've ever bought from that dealership. So there was a big to do about that. It was uh, pretty cool. So uh, that was back in 19, I think. I think it was. But yes, yeah, so that is really cool. I like to hear that. Um, wow. Yeah, Mike, that's... There's so many out there for the Highway Angels. Uh, hopefully she was given a, uh, some recognition for that. I can tell you that in the last couple of years, the number of Decker drivers who have been recognized for Highway Heroes has most definitely increased, which is quite um, impressive. I, it, it's, very, it's very cool to hear the recognitions, the number of names, and uh, yeah. So we, we love those. Love seeing those submissions and saving some lives. Um, okay, so that's basically the equipment too. Now that you hit on that, I do want to talk about the amenities too. Uh, we have APUs in all of our trucks. Thank goodness during the summer months for, for a little bit of cool air for you. Um, so we have APUs and inverters in the trucks. We have CB units in all of our trucks. We have navigation, uh, series radio, it's serious radio equipped. You would be responsible for the subscription, unlike the Epic View satellite TV, where we provide the TV, we provide the satellite programming. So it's a hundred plus channels, HBO, Cinemax, Showtime. Um, so we get we have all of those in the truck. They're double bunk trucks. Um, they have microwaves in the trucks and refrigerators, CB units. I couldn't remember if I already said that. We have the Transflow Geotab units in the truck, so you can get your paperwork in there. Get your paperwork in by Tuesday, and you get paid Friday for it. Um, you have, and you can just scan it right there or take a picture and get it in. So, yeah, it's very, very easy. Lots of amenities, little creature comforts, right? Yeah, we, we love those. 
Um, Mike says, I might try and get the GMC Astro going. Haul in some seed corn, huh? Oh, no, that's horrible. Yeah. Yeah, you got it everywhere, right? I hear you, Mike. So, yes, our trucks are newer model, 2020 and newer. We usually stay within a three-year period, so those 20s are kind of holding on as we're switching out to the 24s. Um, and you are probably seeing a lot of 20, 24s right now. Uh, we'll be probably getting more in, in uh, August. At least that's what I've seen in the past. So, yeah. Awesome. Um, some of the available positions, we have opened up a little bit of our refrigerated areas. So you'll see uh, the Vegas area, one example that we've expanded upon here in the last um, a couple of days. So if you are living in in... Las Vegas, we can get you home about every three weeks. Get a hold of our recruiting department if you guys have any questions, if you're interested in coming aboard to Decker. The number is right here, 877-433-2537. Uh, I do want to note that, um, well, obviously that's the number, but I do want to note also, you can, if you're interested in coming aboard to Decker, you can text the word Decker, D-E-C-K-E-R, to 2500 thousand and you can text back and forth as well if that's easier for you if you don't want to call but you you want to get um, an inquiry and just just text Decker to 25,000 that's another way to go about it right or get a hold of me on Facebook facebook.com backslash DTL Inc we'll answer your questions there too yeah all right so we do have the refrigerated we have some flatbed as well Midwest flatbed let's talk a little bit about that um, we do have a couple of great opportunities in the Midwest, especially if you live in the state of Iowa. I say Iowa because it's just a little bit easier. We, the whole state is pretty much included, lots of freight. Um, we do have quite a bit in the Chicago area, Milwaukee, Detroit, uh, Columbus, Ohio, um, areas of Illinois, north of 80 for the most part, um, is real heavy for freight as well. So please get a hold of us if you have any questions about the flatbed division, especially within the Midwest. That'll keep you busy. And it guarantees $14.50 a week. So we have that minimum pay that I was talking about. Remember that? All right, so we have that minimum pay of $14.50 for our Midwest flatbed division. Um, there are areas that we have the thousand guaranteed, but for the most part, let me see if I actually have a hiring map for you that will give you an idea. Let me, let me pull one up here for you. That might be a little bit easier so that you know where all we're hiring for this $14.50. Um, thought I had it on here, but I didn't. Imagine that, right? Let's see here. Pull her open for you. Oops, not that one. So the 1450, you do need to be available for dispatch at least five days out of the week. Uh, no load refusals, no driver service failures. Um, get your paperwork in on time. You have until, um, let's see, you have until Tuesday night at 10 p.m. I believe to get your paperwork in in order to get paid Friday, and it's direct deposit. So you've got that. All right. So I think this will kind of give you an idea of <laughs> there we go we got that I'm not sure if you guys are seeing this yet are you seeing it nope not yet all right we'll get her I've got to shrink it because it's taken up boom there you go all right game on <laughs> um, this is the area that you'll be seeing um, that we're hiring for our 1450 a week um, with the minimum pay. So again, no, be available for dispatch at least five days out of the week. No load refusals, no driver service failures, so no late loads on your part. Um, if it's a customer or receiver issue, that's a little bit different story. That's, um, but it, it's driver service failures that would be counted against you. Uh, get your paperwork in on time, no preventable accidents, and no CSA violations. But everything in red here, it, what you're seeing here in red, 
that is the hiring area for this $14.50 uh, minimum pay, where the yellow is the running area. So yeah, and you'd be seeing, you'll, you're seeing more of the running area in the, in the yellow there. Not more, you flat out are. <laughs> so if you have questions, please reach out to our recruiting department at 877-433-2537 and we'll give you more details on that one. All right, so that one I definitely wanted you to know about. Um, I've been asked several times about our referral program. So yes, we do have a referral program. If you're a current driver here at Decker and you're looking to make a little bit of extra money, awesome. <laughs> you can make, uh, honestly, the last, oh, last year, our top refer made an extra $11,000 just in the referral bonus. And the year before, we had two drivers... I gotta get my calculator out. I gotta double check to see what they made. Um, right? Yeah. Um, they we had two drivers who actually um, tied for the top refer, and they had. I was just trying to think here. Um, so eleven thousand is the top, and then you'd make an extra 8,000 if you were, yeah, that's what it was, an extra 8,000 um, the year before. So we had two drivers, two drivers in 2021 who, uh, who earned an extra $8,000 just in the referral bonus alone. And of course, we, we've, we paid out over um, 145,000, I believe, last year in the referral bonus and pretty darn close. I think it was 130 something in the year before in the referral bonus. So yeah, we do pay quite a bit. That's for the year and those, it's $1,500 per driver that you refer who hires on and it pays within 90 days of hire. So you get 250 after, you, after they've been here for, for um, first dispatch and then after 30 days, another 250 and at 60 and 90 days, you'll also get a $500 payment, so direct deposit. So you get those referrals add up, plus you get a tumbler, um, you get, uh, throughout different different levels of referrals, you'll get a tumbler, a business card, a $100 gift card, a t-shirt, a uh, Decker t-shirt. Um, you get entered in for quarterly drawings. Those are always fun, because you get a chance to win a tablet, a laptop, or a thousand dollars. Everybody's chosen a thousand dollars so far. <laughs> We've been doing it for a few years, and uh, so far that's that's uh, everybody's preferred. But yes, be part of the best fleets to drive for. Oh, look, you can see my, my ring light. Um, best fleet to drive for, and you can text 515-517-6928 to get a hold of um, one of the recruiters with the referrals. So the reason I suggest that you text that number is that it'll ask your name and contact information so that we can link your the person you're referring to you and we've got that direct link and it just stays along holds on for the long term right um, for that referral gives you credit where credit is due yes 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 um, but yeah we have that referral bonus as well all kinds of bonuses you guys um, but those are those are just a few Katie says some of our best drivers are from our referrals. That is that is exactly right. Um, we had, oh now I remember Art was um, a referral. He won driver of the year. Art Club run driver of the year in 2016. That was the first grand champion. Won a Harley Davidson back then. And then we had um, other art, actually Art Gonzalez also won, and he was a referral. Um, let's see. I'm trying to just right off the top of my head. I'm the num yeah, the number of drivers who were referrals who <laughs> won um, the the grand champion even is is impressive. And we've had s several grand champions be referrals them or referring others as well. And we've had some that are really quite close. 
that doesn't have any bearing on whether or not you're a grand champion, by the way, um, at least not for the driver of the year grand champion. Now, when it comes to the referral grand champion, yes, definitely. You need to have at least five referrals in order to be named the grand champion refer for the year, but then you'll get an extra $2,500 and then you get, um, you'll get the jacket. Oh, it's a watch this year. So we changed from a, a jacket to a watch. So that's pretty cool. Um, Katie says after your first earnings, your first referral, you'll get a custom business card um, and a Decker t-shirt. We also have some, oh yeah, um, these are awesome. So we do, is that what I have right here? Nope, this is not the one, but we have, so you get custom business cards. These are actually pretty darn handy for those of you who haven't used them before, but they'll have the custom ones come with your name. They also have all of the contact information for the recruiting department because we, do, we don't expect you to do all of the, you know, do the work that the recruiters are doing. The information changes on a regular basis like the hiring area, the qualifications, um, the hiring requirements, things like that, those change. Um, and we, we're making those adjustments. You're not always going to know them, and we do not expect you to know them. But you're putting us in contact with these other drivers who might qualify or who you feel would qualify. And if that's the case, you send them on over. Well, you don't always have time to visit with them, at least not them and there, especially if you're at a shipper and receiver and you've got to get going, or maybe you're at a truck stop and you know, stop for a shower and they're trying to flag you down and like, hey, nice truck. <laughs> that happens all the time. Anyways, this card will have your information as well as the recruiting department. Um, but with your, having your information on there, whether they reach out to you and visit with you about it is a, is a great thing, but it also helps them to remember who it was that they re were referred by. So instead of just getting a pamphlet saying, hey, come check out Decker, you're giving them a card so that they can say, yeah, I was referred by this person. Um, just kids, takes up a little bit less space too for them, which is always nice. But yeah, there are some blank ones is what Katie's saying that you can use. So you can grab some of these blank ones at the Fort Dodge Terminal, Fort Dodge Terminal. put your name on it, and you can hand those out as well. But yeah, those actually work really well. And you know what, honestly, what has worked really well one of our previous grand champions for the referral, they did a video and uh, were and posted that online and talking a little bit about Decker and what they appreciated, giving just, you know, giving the, the basics, like these are the good things, these are the bad things, you know, just giving a, a true perspective of what, what to expect um, coming to Decker. And that way the people that they're referring are people who are gonna fit Decker well because they have a good understanding and that's why we provide these videos these weekly Q&A's is so obviously we, we've got some opportunities for you but we're not a good fit for everybody well who is what is you know so we want to make sure that the people who are applying are going to be qualified and if you're not qualified that's okay you can call in and ask so that you actually know what those qualifications are and you can work towards them um, and we do have some training opportunities as well. Um, so anyways, if you have questions, please reach out to the recruiting department at 877-433-2537. We'll give you some more details on that. But yes, you can get the cards at the terminal in Fort Dodge. Katie will hand them to you. And then she'll be like, come check out the store. <laughs> it keeps her busy. As if she's not busy enough, right? Katie does, yeah, you Katie will be out there taking the pictures and um, getting the newsletter ready. And so everything you see there, all that communications. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I was going to get sidetracked because Tim is asking for a goat. No goats. We do, we do have a pet policy. It's a dog policy. And he has a dog on his truck, just so you guys know. But no goats. Yeah, the dog policy is 85 pounds or less, non-aggressive breed, and it's a $500 deposit. Half of that is refundable. Um, the <laughs> uh, We do allow up to two dogs, no more than 65 pounds combined, right? 60, 60 pounds combined. And yeah, and again, no non-aggressive breeds. 
So, and you do need to have a a seat cover for the passenger seat as well, um, at the very least, if you're going to have a pet, or have a dog. Cowboy 145, is it true to get a 389 you need to be with the company for more than 10 years? Yeah, it's usually 15 years for the 389. But let me, um, that doesn't mean that you couldn't get a 389, but the reason being is the 389s, when you've got 15 years experience with Decker, so you're a veteran basically here at Decker, um, we let you kind of spec the trucks, and those tend to be the 389s, and they are sharp. They're so cool. Um, but, yeah, those those are, are kind of spec'd. Now, if one of our drivers who was in a 389, if they upgraded, if they were upgrading again, or if they retired, then, then that 389 could be available again. So, um, but again, we keep the rotation on a three-year rotation, or... Yeah, three-year rotation. So on average, roughly uh, 18 months, I think. Yep, Tim says yes, 10 to 15. So, but yeah, that is that is very true. Um, and if you look at our TikToks, our YouTube, we love to highlight them because they're, the, I love to highlight them. They're really sharp. They photograph well. <laughs> they're like, and you see them a lot because those, those of our drivers who have those 389s, they are quite proud of them because they look so cool. Yeah, but there's more to it than just a, you know, looking cool, right? You gotta, you gotta do the job too, right? <laughs> uh, Cowboy says, my father used to have a 379 before he left Decker back in the day. That's why I ask. Yeah. Oh, so your your dad used to drive for us. Very cool. Yeah, the 379s. Um, you probably know that, but the 389s took over for the 379s, basically. They retired the 379s and, um, later came back out with the 389, so, yeah. But that's, that is true. And you can see some of them every now and then, um, out on the road. Tim's got an older, um, older truck that he, um, he gets ready for all of the shows when he can, you know, when he's doing the, the shows, a lot of times he does Walcott, um, the Jamboree and stuff, but yeah, he, he has two trucks. He's an owner operator here. Wave hi, Tim. <laughs> That's Tim Olden out here. And he's got, um, a couple Pete's. One of them that is the workhorse does, does the duty most of the time. And then the other one is, I think more your pride and joy, isn't it? Yeah, pretty sharp. Yeah, thanks for joining us on today. All right. Um, well, I guess that's about it, you guys. If you have more questions, hit me up, 3 or 877-433-28 or 2537. I don't even know what number I'm saying. 877-433-2537. There you go. Um, Cowboy says, so is there plans for a place to go to the 389s then? Not that I'm aware of. So the, or the 589, excuse me. Um, no, not that I'm aware of, but I haven't asked Malachi either. So I'm not sure. As of now, 579s and the 389s for most of the vets. When it comes to the Peterbelts, we've got some Volvos. The the flatbed, You're they're usually looking at the uh, the Volvos are um, 740s, and then we have 760s, 860s for the refrigerated division as for Volvo size. And then we have a few Freightliner Cascadia Evolutions as well. Most of our trucks are the Peterbilts. We've got the Ultraloft sleepers, um, the reefer side. So yeah, they're, most of them are, are Pete's. Like 90%, I think. All right. All right, you guys. Well, I will be back on next week, noon central, right here, right there. Um, and then Facebook is every week, every Monday at 4 p.m. central. So if one time works better for you than the other, awesome. We usually um, do a little bit more, um, talk a little bit more about available positions on YouTube, but we talk a little bit more about what's going 
on at Decker more on our Facebook, just because it's most people who are watching that are our current drivers and we want to make sure you guys are up to date in the loop, knowing on what's going on. So uh, yeah. Okay. We'll see you guys soon. Have an awesome rest of your day and stay safe. Sound right?